guys it's time to buy instead of ranking every month into a tier list let's get right into it first up we got january and january are usually on christmas break from school at least for you know the first couple weeks of it so i'm gonna put it in pretty fun it kicks off the new year it's a good month next up we have february which i feel it's pretty okay it's like january junior except it's getting a little bit warmer and it's not like the new year but february has less days like why would there be less days it's going boring i don't i don't know why it's just going boring next up we have march march has st patrick's day but that's about it it's a pretty boring month i'm gonna put it in boring next up we have april here's the thing with april the weather's nice so that you know you'd say oh it's pretty fun you know baseball's kicking off which is the best sport in the world however the allergies really start to kick in and that's why it's going in okay i mean i i'm just i can't stop sneezing when april comes around it's horrible <laughs> Next up, we have May. May's just hot April. It's going on okay. It has the same amount of allergies, but usually school gets out, so it has, you know, it kind of bumps it up because it is hot April, but it's not really hot enough to swim yet. It's kind of annoying. Next up, we have June. Summer break's really started now, and I'm going to put in great vibes. Like, you can swim during June. It's just a good month. Next up, we have July, and the first half of July is great because, you know, it's still swimming weather and everything. Of course, every season during summer's swimming weather. But the problem with July is the last half of July you kind of think about school coming up again. It's kind of an issue. I'm still going to put it in pretty fun because it's summer, you know. Next up, we have August. Mm, see, I don't like August. I'm going to put it in time for hibernation because if I could hibernate through August, I wouldn't have to go to school and start school again in August. It's a really dreadful month. Like, you know, you just don't summer break for the first few weeks or whatever, but <laughs> kind of dreading it the entire time and it makes your life a lot worse. Then we have September where it wants to be fall. September wants to be fall. But the weather is still pretty hot, and it's not really fall. It's, you can't swim, but you still can't, like, get a coat on and, like, go outside. So I'm going to put it in boring. Then we have October. This is when playoff baseball is. I'm going to put October in great vibes. Like, it's... No, no, no. I forgot how much I hate Halloween. Time for hibernation. I hate Halloween. I completely forgot. The reason I hate Halloween is you have, like, a lot of people coming up to you that live on your street or whatever, and they're in a mask, and they're like, Hey, what's up, Tynamite? You know, that's, they don't call me that because that's not my name. But, and then I'm like... You know, who's that person? I just be like, oh, what's up? You know, but I don't know that person at all because, you know, they're in a mask and they're in a costume. It's just... I'm going to tell you, right? You show, you show your face. Creates for a lot of awkward situations, I guess. So Halloween really kind of rubs me the wrong way. Next up, we have November. I mean, what is good in November? Like, I, I can't think of a single thing. It's cold, but it's not December. I, I don't know what to think. I, time for hibernation. I don't like November. Next up, we have December. And I'm going to put December in great vibes. It has Christmas. There's not really a gripe you can have on December. It's just the best month of the year. Going to great vibes. Thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know what kind of tier list you guys would like to see next.